what's up y'all what's good welcome to another fitness vlog <laughs> Hey guys, do me a favor, stop what you're doing and click that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. I need you to head over and give me a follow. Thanks in advance. Now onto the video. Okay, so normally we would not start our fitness vlogs off in the car. However, we finished 75 hard job. We finished 75 hard. Can you believe it? You guys have been with me in this journey since the beginning. And we're going to talk all about my experience, how it went, how much weight we lost, what I learned, all that stuff throughout this vlog. You guys, I'm using my big camera because Mark has the smaller one. So I'm trying to get used to it in the car. I usually don't take it out the house. But um, yeah. We're gonna talk about 75 hard. We're gonna talk about all that stuff um, today. And I'm so excited. I cannot believe we finished, right? Man, it was a journey, but we did it. And I'm so, I'm so proud of us. When I say us, I mean me and my husband, for those of you who don't know. If it's your first time watching, hello. My name is Cece. We talk about our corporate careers and productivity on this channel. I would love for you to join the family. Fitness has definitely recently become just such a love of mine and I love to share that with you guys. I try to share a fitness vlog with you guys once a month just so you can see where I'm at in my progress. And for the last 75 days, I've been doing a program called 75 Hard. I made some modifications so um, it was still very challenging however it was actually doable because the actual 75 hard for me just it wasn't doable at this time in my life so I made some adjustments which I'll go over again when we get back to the house but I figured it was time to do a grocery shop so I would take you guys along with me and we would go just I'm gonna show you some of the staple things that actually got me through 75 hard some of the staple like snacks and things like that so right before we started this challenge a trader joe's actually opened up by my house and i have been i've been obsessed with trader joe's for a long time but it was about 30 minutes from my house so they opened up one a little closer and now that's like my weekly thing is going to trader joe's every week and just picking up my staples and i've discovered some amazing snacks that have really kind of kept me on track for this challenge i mean just so amazing and i haven't shown them to you guys yet so we're gonna go grocery shopping we're gonna pick up my weekly staples and I'll show you guys some of the great things that you can get if you're looking to go on some sort of fitness journey. The one thing that I love about the way that I did the journey is that I felt like it's sustainable. All the workouts that I did, no. I'm not going to be able to do those workouts and replicate that every day. However, the way I ate and for the most part, like working out five days a week, that I can keep that up that is sustainable for my life and that is what I'm I tell y'all a little about that later but that's sustainable in my life and that's the one thing that I really love about how I did this program and I really feel like I can keep up my progress and just keep this train moving you know what I'm saying in the in the right direction so again we're gonna go grocery shopping I'm gonna turn on this radio so I gotta turn y'all off but I'm gonna meet y'all at Trader Joe's
Let me show you guys real quick what I picked up from Trader Joe's. This is like, these are like my staple, staple products. I need to clean my kitchen, y'all. But these are my staple, staple products from Trader Joe's. These are kind of the snacks that really helped me get through these past 75 days, right? So let me show you. So let's just be clear, the wine is always essential. I tried to stay away from the wine in the past 75 days because that's just empty calories that I didn't need. However, I picked up some. So I have this cranberry secco. So it's like a cranberry prosecco and I had never seen this. So I went ahead and picked that one up. And then I also picked up, I was in the mood for sweet um, and sparkly. So I picked up the regular prosecco also. So I picked up two of those. And those are like fairly cheap, like $6, $5, something like that. I also grabbed some olive oil because we were getting low on olive oil. Olive oil is usually my my cooking oil of choice uh, when I am using oils. This frozen organic jasmine rice. This is really nice because sometimes I don't feel like waiting on my rice to cook. I can just go ahead and pop this in the microwave. It takes three minutes and it's the perfect serving size. It comes with four packets and I really, really do like this stuff. So that is good. I picked up eggs. Eggs are always a staple in my eating. I love my eggs in the morning. So for me in the morning, it's either eggs or oatmeal or, or nothing or smoothie, I guess. Eggs, oatmeal, I'm at Smoothie King or nothing. That's like usually my morning. Those are the only breakfasts, breakfasts I eat. And I'm kind of simple like that. Of course, we got a little petite bouquet here because my flowers are still good for the most part but I'm going to switch some out with this petite bouquet they were out of eucalyptus which I was like oh that's the first time I've gone there and that's happened so that kind of sucked but um I got this organic acai bowl this is actually the first time I've tried this one normally I get the acai packets but I wanted to try just the single bowl now the single bowl is like four bucks so it's not cost effective to get the single bowl but so these are what I usually get and it is the puree packets and these are really great for making like smoothies or making your own acai bowls so I do get those as well. Now these right here, if you have a sweet tooth like I do, you have to get some snacks. Like you have to get something to keep yourself like just feeling good and ready to go. Some sort of low calorie snack, right? So my favorite, favorite throughout this has been these. It's 12 mini mint ice cream mouthfuls. So it's like Oreos like frozen Oreos with mint ice cream in the middle and they're actually a good size and they're 60 calories per Sandwich and all I eat is one so when I get a sweet craving I'll go in the freezer. I'll pop one and It's just so good and it really satisfies my cravings and that's like all I need the lighting in here is terrible I'm so sorry y'all I'm so sorry, but We'll be done with this in a minute. The last thing that um, was a super staple of mine was this Trader Joe's Apple Blossoms. These are really good also. These are a little higher in calories though because one of these Apple Blossoms are, what is it? One of these Apple Blossoms are 340 calories. So this is a little, if you got a little bit of extra calories at the end of the day, you want something sweet, this is fine. But 60 calories for just one of these sandwiches and they're totally good and they'll totally satiate you. So the last few things I've picked up were just some veggies. So I got these um, Kung Pao Tempura Cauliflower and this is my first time actually trying these. So I'm actually pretty excited for these. So if you're a vegan, this is probably a good option for you, but it's just fried cauliflower. What is it? 140 calories for a cup. So. I think that could make a good side. And then I got some fresh veggies. So the ready veggies, this has broccoli, Brussels sprouts, red cabbage, kale, carrots, and snow peas. So that looks like that. And then I also got just some ready broccoli. 
so that's everything i picked up from trader joe's those are the staples that really got me through my challenge and now let's talk about how said challenge went <laughs> up you guys good morning happy monday i know i said i was gonna i was gonna get y'all the tea on 75 hard and we will be doing that when i get back from my workout but <clears throat> i had time to do it <laughs> i had time to do it the other day and so i figured i would take you guys along my little morning routine with me heading to work out i had a little celebratory weekend since 75 heart was over and now it's time to get back to mondays never miss a monday so we just gonna keep this train moving i just made my lemon and mint water for the day and i'm about to do a few stretches before i go just a few dynamic stretches before i go to make sure my body is properly warmed up so whew, let's get into it I made the mistake so if you go to Orange Theory they have this Orange Theory memes um, um, Instagram page and I made the mistake of scrolling through my Instagram this morning and looking at the page and they're going to be doing one minute all out runs on an incline which is basically like an all out run is basically empty the tank as fast as you can um run right so one minute all out runs on an incline and i am not trying to do that but <laughs> i already signed up so i came back out now let's get this stretching on <laughs> And finally talk about how 75 hard went and what is next for your girl just starting from the beginning 75 hard is a concept created by someone named Andy Frisella there is an entire book I would encourage you to read it he has a podcast all this type of stuff and um, it's pretty inspiring when you read it right so the five rules of 75 hard are to 
Um, follow a calorie deficit diet, doesn't matter what diet, you just need to be in a calorie deficit with no cheat days. You need to work out two times a day for 45 minutes a day. They cannot be one single 90 minute workout, it has to be two times a day. And one of those times has to be outdoors. So uh, just think about that. Um, you also have to take a progress pick daily. You have to read 10 pages of a nonfiction book daily. And you also have to drink one gallon of water daily. This is supposed to go on for 75 days. If you miss any of the elements of those five rules, then you must start over on day one. No uh, $200, no pass and go baby. Go back to day one and start completely over now mark and i we uh i can say we didn't follow that rule okay so um we were not going to start over we were going to go for the 75 days and see how hard we can go for those 75 days it was like i already said probably one of the most rewarding things i have ever 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 done and i'm so happy that i did it and i'm so happy i stuck it out i got injured probably two weeks two and a half weeks into it i got injured i was hurting and i kept going every single day a lot of days i did two workouts a day and it was just really cool so mark did the full version for me i said i wanted to work out five times per week but i wanted to move my body all seven days so do some sort of whether it's a quick walk or a stretch or a quick yoga session, something for those other two days that I was not like hardcore working out. And I also did a lot of two a days in there as well. I was supposed to drink one gallon. I was supposed to um, read my 10 pages, pretty much everything else, follow the diet. And I was also going to take a progress pick once a week, which I'll pop my rules right up here because I kind of wrote those down and showed you guys. So those were the rules that i followed was i perfect hell no absolutely not <laughs> however of the 75 days let's start with the working out portion this was the portion that i feel like mark and i focused on the most definitely um what we were really laser focused on not messing up and for myself i there were three days three days of the 75 that I did not move my body at all. So I, all in all, I worked out 72 of the 75 days. Okay, so I just ran and checked my calendar. I actually only missed two days of the challenge, which is even better, not three. So I actually worked out 73 of the 75 days and I actually did 26 of those days were two a days. So I went to Orange Theory and I went to the gym. I went on a walk and I went to Planet Fitness, like something like that. I worked out twice a day for 26 of the 73 days that I actually worked out. So I'm so proud of myself and you could definitely see the difference in my body. I put together this little montage of my 75 hard, I guess, the 75 hard and the emotions that I went through. I put together this little montage from my Instagram stories. Those are literally probably my rawest moments when I just pick up the camera or my phone and I start talking to Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Instagram also if you're not. So I'm gonna let you guys watch that right now. I'll explain it all to you guys later, but I'm gonna need motivation through this, y'all. It is a pretty lengthy challenge. So I'll explain it to you guys later. Of course, we're gonna do a video on it and everything, but I just, I'm gonna need some motivation from y'all. Day seven, y'all. We out here, even on Easter Sunday, we are more than a third of a mile in. We got dinner waiting for us back at the house, but we had to get our workout in first, so. Day eight, day eight, we out here in the snow, getting our walk in, y'all see it? It is coming down out here too. <laughs> got the GoPro going. Let's go. Workout number two. Happy Tuesday. Happy day. What's today? 17? 16? 
day 17. Happy day 17. Our 75 hard challenge. It's work. Woo. Okay, y'all. It's day 30. This is the absolute last thing I want to be doing right now. It's a workout. But I'm 30 days in. Can't stop now. So, what is going on? y'all so checking in it's day 39 i already went to the gym and now i got almost a three mile walk in so by the time i'm done with this walk that'll be five miles in that's lightweight see that's her fourth rep on her shit that's lightweight It's 8.15 p.m. And I have to get this workout in. I have not started. And I don't want to start. It's day 60, by the way. So we have 15 to go. 16 if you include today. And I'm not here for it today. But I'm about to get up. Lord be with me. I am so flipping tired. A full day, long day of work and meetings and all of that. Softball game for the girls and now I have to work out. It is day 73 and I can't give up now, but Lord, do I want to. Oh. Last thing I wanna be doing is working out, y'all. But hopefully, this motivates somebody. So the big reveal, um, what my before photos look like versus my after photos. I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. But I've also been asked, you know, would I recommend 75 hard? I would absolutely recommend it if you have the time to do it. I think doing the full version, two workouts a day, every single day for 75 days, one, it's not sustainable, obviously, and two, it's also, it's it's time consuming. You have to find time to be able to do that. Thank God I work from home and, you know, I was able to sneak out in the middle of the day and go get a workout in, go get a quick walk in, but if you, you know, you're at an office, all day your kids have sports at the end of the day blah 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 like it is very time consuming to try to find out where you're gonna get two workouts in so if you need to modify it's funny too because if you read the book he's like if you modify 75 hard it's not 75 hard it's something else there are no modifications nothing and so and I understand that but honey if you need to modify you need to modify and I I, I just think it's so rewarding when you finish though. I had such a great time doing it. We're actually going to do a mini version of it of like a month leading up to our wedding. We're going to do like a mini version of it as well. So um, really excited for that. But it, I, I definitely think it's worth it if you can do it. It's something so great to just jumpstart your health and fitness goals. So obviously, again, two workouts a day. I do not think it's sustainable. Working out every single day is not even sustainable, nor is it perfectly healthy. Like your body needs rest days. You know what I mean? Your body will sit you down if you don't sit down when you need to. So just keep that in mind. You do need rest days. You don't want to kill yourself 
yourself but it's supposed to be mentally challenging it's supposed to be mentally tough it is supposed to kill you you're supposed to have those days where you're like i don't want to go in this gym i'm not going into this gym but then you drag your butt into the gym like you're supposed to have those days because it shows you that when you get back to real life and you're like my goal is to only work out three times a week or four times a week that there's no excuse that you cannot work out three or four times a week when you did it twice a day for 75 days. You know what I mean? So that's the type of thing that I think it teaches you and it and it makes you just feel good. And now to the point where I'm like, man, it's kind of hard like to not work out. You know what I mean? And I'm also to the point where I'm like, I did all that work and I can't just let it go by the wayside. I can't just go back to what I was doing before. Like I have to just, you know, continue life with the same intensity that I did for those 75 days. So I started off at 182.6 pounds, which uh, you guys, every time I think about that, it's like, oh, I, I just, I hate saying that I was in the 180s. I'm too short to be in the 180s, right? But I started off at 182.6 pounds. I ended at 169.6 pounds. And when I tell you that 13 pounds off never felt so good, so 13 pounds doesn't sound like a lot, right? But my body to me feels and looks completely different. I just have so much more confidence like my body. I can feel it in my cl in everything I wear. Every single piece of clothing, even from doing like little small like the workouts that I do, I can feel like less of my stomach or I can feel like I can look at my arms and say, "Oh my god, there's so much more toned." Like I just feel the difference in every single thing that I do and it just makes me want to keep going that much more. So <clears throat> one thing that I've learned is that like you can't have ass fitness right so I'm on this journey I've been on this journey for a while you guys know I'll start and stop and start and stop and like I have one foot in one foot out and I've just learned that you can't have fast fitness like you either gonna do it or you're not and I I see that now I see that so I worked out really hard and I I, I did you know not everything right but I did a lot of things right and I lost 13 pounds now if you would have asked me last year if I would have do this challenge and, and how many pounds I thought I'd lose I'd probably like oh I'm probably gonna lose like 25 like it takes work to to lose the weight even to lose 10 pounds and so I'm realizing sorry y'all the lighting is going in and out this uh, natural lighting behind me but um it takes work it takes it takes mental toughness. It takes a want to actually want to do it. And and that's what I've learned. You can't really half-ass it. Either you're doing it or you're not. And from this moment on, we're doing it. Okay? We're doing it. As far as the rest of um, the rest of the rules with 75 hard, for the most part, I read my books every single day. I'm reading the last one, Get Get Good with Money, but I ended up reading five books throughout this um, throughout this journey, which was pretty cool. I'll actually list the books on the screen because they're in the other room, and I, you know, I don't feel like going, getting up and going to get them. But I'll list the books on the screen, and I'll link them down below for you guys. So I ended up reading five books and that was great I like I said I did that pretty much every day the gallon of water you guys did not do that every day that probably um, I probably drank the gallon of water only half the time I did drink a lot of water and a lot more water which is great I feel like this was all about you know being able to push myself and being able to um, just do better than I did the day before or do better than I did the previous 75 days and I absolutely did that so I drank a shit ton of water it just was not a gallon a day as far as follow the diet with no cheat days y'all know your girl had cheat days and I did not follow a diet to a T but for the most part I stayed in a calorie deficit and I also tracked my calories via my fitness pal and um, that is really helpful to actually know what you're eating and what you put into your body we've talked about that before so all in all great experience I would absolutely recommend it and thank you guys so much for staying on this journey with me now what's next for me as far as my fitness journey goes I like I said before I don't want to let this go I'm feeling so good and just so positive and so energetic there's so many health benefits just to getting yourself at a healthy weight and and just a healthy mindset also 
I also want to continue to watch my food intake and to track my food. I don't feel like I'm to the point where I can do intuitive eating quite yet, just because I'm just not there yet, you know? I will overeat, I know myself. So tracking my calories, at least for the most part, is the most effective way for me to make sure that I am staying in a caloric deficit because I still wanna lose some more, some more pounds, I still wanna tone up in other places, so I will still be tracking my food. I'll also be continuing to focus on my water intake. Again, I don't think you need to drink a gallon. I feel like drinking a gallon a day is, you know, that kind of Instagram, YouTube worthy title. I'm gonna drink a gallon of water a day. You know, you do that kind of for show. I don't think you need to drink a gallon of water a day to be healthy. I am gonna start with 60 four ounces of water, so a half gallon of water a day. That's gonna be my goal, and that's just kinda gonna be my forever goal. Like drink 64 ounces of water. I don't think that's too much, especially when I'm gonna be working out five plus times a week. Drinking 60 ounces of water, 64 ounces of water a day is not too much to ask, and that's what I'm going to be going for. And then I do have one more goal, and that is to button these jeans that buttoned. Y'all remember when I had MJ and the weight just kind of came off right after I had MJ? Well, I bought these jeans. They were so cute, and now they won't button anymore because I didn't gain that weight back. So they will not button anymore, right? So <laughs> we are going to, I'm going to try those on for you guys today. And my goal by the time my wedding comes, which is September 29th, my goal is to make sure that these jeans button. So we're going to be working toward that goal. It's something tangible and, uh, you know, minus the weight and jumping on the scale. I think looking at your body and feeling how your body feels in certain clothes, I think that's where the money is, right? So we're going to try on these jeans together. You guys are going to see that they don't button. And then we're going to try them on again in September. I'm not going to try them on again until September and they're gonna button, cause that's our goal. Okay friends, here are the jeans. I'll show you guys in the mirror, but I just wanna show y'all for now. They're a size 10, and the brand is Bershka. I think that's the name of the brand. Let's just tuck this bra here. So, here they are. They will not button. <laughs> like, they will not button. You can see it for yourself. I can't zip them. I cannot button them. So come September, we'll be able to button these jeans, okay? Here it is. Proof. Proof, proof, proof. Come September, these will be buttoned. Okay, y'all. So this is what they look like on. Just so y'all can see. Just so y'all can see. They don't. They just don't button, okay? But we're going to get into these jeans again. So, that's our goal. We got this. So, that is it for today's vlog. For this month's fitness vlog, actually. And the end of 75 Hard. Thank you guys so much for sticking around with me on this journey. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want real-time updates. Like I said, all those updates that I posted, you guys would already saw them if you were following me. So, make sure you're following me. And... Oh, just thank you guys for being so amazing, so supportive, so encouraging. There were definitely times where I wanted to give up and I wanted to quit. But I saw all of your encouraging words through YouTube, through Instagram and all of that. And it just, it really motivated me to keep going. You guys are more, are, are you guys are just so important to me. And um, you are so influential in like some of the things that I think about and some of the things that I hear and just the motivation that I get. The fact that you guys are like, girl, we're watching, keep going, was amazing. There will be times, so I tried to post my workouts every day on Instagram, right? And there were times where I just didn't post my workout for that day for whatever reason. And I'd get messages like, girl, where you at? Like, <laughs> you ain't work out today? I know you worked out today. And I'd be like, oh my God, you guys are really watching and paying attention and like counting on me to finish. Like I can't, I cannot not finish. So that was just probably one of the most amazing parts also. So I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video.
Bye, guys.